Very good morning. I'm doing an update on the euro. Just want to review. Uh, this is this is the intermediate term and long term view. So I switched back to core short yesterday, uh, and here's what the model is basically spitting out. So coming into May here, we were short, right? You can see here. This is the four hour chart. There were some signals where we were, of course, short, covered some, and then when we traded above the French election highs up here, this is where our risk was. So meaning that's where we were wrong from our where we were where we wanted to lean short. The risk was above French election highs. So once we traded above that, we stopped, gave back some money, right, and. Not only just did we reduce our risk, we went long. So we flipped and went long here. And there's a couple ways. There's always different ways you can play it, but um, we went long cash, right, the spot market, but then also bought calls to open up here. This 113 level was the intraday highs from the Trump election. So this is a logical spot that we could trade up to. That's why I wanted to flip and be long. So we made some money here. Um, and then we were taking profit on the upside calls, 113 calls here, in addition to when we, we sold puts here down at 109, which basically paid for the 113 calls. So these calls are up something like 60%, all right, or sorry, these puts, these puts, sell the puts, buy the calls, and then these calls are up 66%. Um, but I'll show some of that in a different slide. The point here, I just wanted to, to highlight the direction from here. So yesterday, um, yesterday we went back to core short, meaning being because there's a double top up here, but more importantly, like we always talk about the time component, the cycles are starting to top out. So here, let me hide all our signals. No, can't hide the signals apparently anymore. Thinkorswim train changed everything. I don't know how to hide all this crap. What 113? This just looks horrible. I don't know how to remove this. used to just hide the drawings I don't know anyway 113 used to be the resistance it is still the resistance but look this daily cycle is high guys the weekly cycle is very high now so this all makes me want to lean short and again the risk is really all the way above 115 so I'm gonna work a course short all the way up into 113 114 even up into these highs here which are the weekly and monthly TMS levels that keep everything bearish. Um, anyway, guys, that's a quick update. Uh, as far as the near term now, so leaning core short, and then I like, well, let me show you in the 30 minute. I like these the bands here. This is all showing you the new near term downtrend. So as long as we're below 112, I've been shorting this morning. I've been putting that in the real-time alerts. Okay, so on the 15-minute. So as long as we're still in trend and below 112, I'm going to play this on the short side. You can see it pretty well on the 5-minute. Pie lines above the market. Okay, so all up in here. You can sell these 1-minute bounces, cover some. But be short in front of 112, and then we'll try to play for a break of these lows. All right, I'll have a few more updates for you guys.